Could you imagine embarking into the untamed wilds to start a new life? Could you overcome the hostile terrain, the unforgiving elements, or the ferocious beasts that roam the lands? Now, could you do any of that without electricity? It's hard to imagine, but by the dawn of the 20th century, over 30,000 people did just that. The wilds were tamed, and rural homesteads dotted the landscape with increasing regularity. This population boom marked Oregon's transition from the pioneer era to the industrial age that Clackamas County owes in part to the Bull Run Hydroelectric Project. When you consider everything the workers were up against, from the terrain to the elements, the Bull Run Hydro Project was no easy feat to construct by any standard. But from 1906 to 1912, nearly 300 workers built by hand the now decommissioned Marmot Dam and Little Sandy Dam, the man-made and now drained Roslyn Lake, a 15,000-foot wooden aqueduct or flume, as well as a Bull Run powerhouse facility. The Bull Run project was unique in many ways, and oddly enough, the water it used to power the generators did not actually come from the Bull Run River on which it sits. Instead, the two massive concrete dams diverted water by pipe and flume through tunnels and rough terrain to the Roslyn Lake Reservoir. From there, water was pumped to the Bull Run powerhouse and through the turbines that powered the generators. And looking closer at what remains of the Bull Run project, the generator room now sits almost fully intact yet eerily still. While in operation, the generator room vibrated with such force that listening booths were needed to communicate between the supervisor and workers assigned to each of the four generators on the main floor. These individuals were tasked with maintaining 150 plus ton pieces of machinery in an environment that produced a constant 91 decibel racket, which would be like working next to a running jackhammer all day. If a generator or any piece of equipment ever broke down, a functioning forge and array of machinist equipment created the parts that were needed from scratch. It was a self-sufficient operation in almost every aspect, and the artifacts that remain serve as a testament to the skilled individuals that transformed the Northwest for the generations that would follow. Before anyone could enjoy the power harvested from the generators, the control room was tasked with regulating the power output that was then sent and stored in the transformer room before being distributed throughout the region. Little remains of the transformer room today except for a single towering relic, but before it made it to anyone's home, the power generated from the Bull Run facility had to make one last trip through the switchyard. These odd-looking arrangements of jutting metal pieces once distributed power throughout the rural districts of Clackamas County. And by today's standards, the facility was able to power around 12,000 homes up until 2007, one year before the project was fully decommissioned. Three, two, one. This decision led to the demolition of one of the largest concrete dams ever constructed. The 15,000-foot wooden flume was also systematically dismantled and evacuated by helicopter from the drained Rosalind Lake before meeting its final fate as fuel for a steam plant in Newburgh. The corresponding Rosalind Lake Park that once accompanied the shores of the reservoir now lies abandoned in the overgrowth that intrepid pioneers once conquered, awaiting what the future might hold. In the mid-1990s, the Bull Run facility achieved historic landmark status, but it wasn't until a recent land use appeal spearheaded by Regen LLC and Restore Oregon that this historic site, along with others like it, now have the opportunity to adaptively reuse historic places to preserve its history and cultural significance for all generations that follow.